Hey YouTube, welcome back. I know this isn't a normal intro to one of my videos, but I'm down here in Burien, Washington, about a mile away from my project up the street, to check out Piece to Film Solutions. These guys specialize in professional automotive paint protection and vinyl wrapping. I mean, these guys are great. They're very meticulous with their wraps, and they treat each car like if it's their own. And in my opinion, not only rival the competitors in the area, but if you want that one-on-one -on -one experience, the quality and service you'll get is unmatched. So, if you're in the area, come check them out, and you might be able to get a chance to hang out with This, the 2011 Audi R8, and this one is extreme, guys. Uh, see, back in 2011, this came standard with a 4.2 liter V8 that produced a respectable 430 horsepower at 317 pound-feet of torque. Or you could have upgraded to the V10 version, which produced 525 horsepower at 391 pound-feet of torque. And if you're absolutely insane, you do the Unitronic Stage 2 Flash that produces 605 horsepower at 440 pound-feet of torque. And that's what this guy has. It also has the six-speed manual, which is absolutely crazy in this car. Uh, and with all that power, you want to make sure that you're as safe and stable on the road as possible. This does come with Audi's Quattro driving system. It is all-wheel drive. Uh, and all that put together in a non-flashed R8, you can absolutely expect a 0-60 to 60 in 3.7 seconds with an overall max speed of 191 miles an hour. So guys, I'm excited for you to come along with me to check out the outside, the inside, listen to the exhaust, and take it for a drive. All right guys, gonna hop on into the Audi R8. Before I do though, let's take a look at that key fob. The key fob for the Audi R8 is pretty standard. You have your lock, unlock, your front trunk release. Uh, it is a 2011, you do have the flip key. That's what it looks like right there. Push it in, push it down. There you go. Uh, the beep it makes when you lock the car, just like that is pretty loud. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock it and get inside. To get into the Audi R8, you just lift up on the handle right here. Uh, when it is shut, it is flush with the car. Looks very good with the lines that are going right here. Uh, once we open it up, you do have the Audi puddle light. Looks really cool, you can kind of see it on the floor. And then you also have the door trim right here with the Audi R8. And then going up the door seal real quick, we'll highlight some of the stickers on the car. And then taking a look inside, you guys can see this is pretty custom. Uh, there is a suede that goes and wraps a lot of the interior of the car, also matched with this yellow accenting, which again is all over the outside. Looks super cool. All right, guys, now it's time to hop on inside. And that was way more simple than like a Lamborghini for sure. Make sure you don't hit your head. Lift your feet up. Oh, and there we go. We are inside. I did move the lights real quick to make sure that you guys can see everything that I'm about to show you on the inside of this car. The steering wheel is very simplistic. Uh, it is wrapped in leather, which is very nice. You do have the Audi rings on the center of it. Uh, on the left, this is where you're gonna control your center gauge. And on the right hand side, you have your volume up and down and your hands-free speak. The dash itself is also very simplistic. Aesthetically, it's balanced. It's very beautiful. I like it. On the left-hand side, you do have your tack that goes up to uh, staggering 8,500 RPMs before it redlines. 
Uh, on the right hand side, you do have your speedometer that goes, shows all the way up to 220 miles an hour. That's absolutely insane. Uh, you do have your fuel gauge up top and then the standard uh, volts on the right and your oil on the left there. Uh, to turn on the lights, it is just a standard knob that you switch to the right along with the dimming right here for the dashboard itself. Uh, on the left-hand side driver door, you do control both of the windows up and down. This is your mirrors. You can, if you <laughs> rotate them all the way up, uh, they'll actually fold in for parking, which is great. Uh, also, you do have your gas cap release and then your front trunk release is actually up here on the door. It's not down there like you think it would be. Uh, switching on over to the center console. It does have the Audi Navigation Plus, which is standard on this vehicle. All the controls for that will be right here. As soon as we turn the car on, we'll, we'll go into that a little bit. Down here, you do have all your climate control options. Uh, the gauges are what you think they would be for 2011. Uh, you do have your heated seats right here. Uh, all the fan controls up here. And then the awesome part Look at that gated shifter. That thing is amazing. Right below it are more standard buttons. Uh, in the middle is the hazard button, of course. On the left-hand side, you can control uh, the suspension in which you're driving. The right-hand side, this is kind of cool. You can control your spoiler up and down. I did put it into auxiliary real quick, so I can show you what that looks like. Just tap it right here one time goes straight up real fast and then hold it until the light goes off and it goes back down and then going even further down you do have a little bit of storage right here there's not a whole lot of storage in the car you have some stuff in the door sills themselves this does have the convenience package so you do have this netting right back here which is i guess helpful uh, it does add to a little bit more storage um, you also have the lighter in this car, which I don't think you see a whole lot anymore with the cigarette holder and ashtray. This does also have the manual e-brake makes for a lot of fun, uh, of course, safely if you're driving around with this thing. Moving even further back, you do have more storage in the center console right here. And then lastly, at the back, in between the seats, you see those cords? That's for plugging in like an iPad or an iPhone so that you can play music out of your sound system. And all the R8s come with the premium sound. So you do have the B&O speakers. You have the two in the doors, uh, the center one up there, and then the tweeters right here for trouble. It makes it sound very, very crisp, very clean. Now for my favorite part, let's turn it on. To turn it on, all you gotta do is take your key, flip it up. I always thought that was super cool back in the day. Uh, put it in, make sure your foot is on the brake, and then let's give it a turn. start is so loud I love it uh, it is warmed up let's go ahead and give it a couple revs here did you guys see how fast that <laughs> that's so loud uh, let's do it one more time I was gonna turn it off and go around the outside, but now that it's on, let's take a look at a couple things here. This is the exact same setup, uh, this part is at least, as the Lamborghini Gallardo that we did. One thing that I don't think I showed in the Gallardo video is the navigation that this guy has because the navigation didn't work. <laughs> so hit the nav button here. Uh, it goes to your navigation settings for starting a route guidance. You can actually just hit this lower button right here, brings it to your map, and hits that early 2010s navigation, <laughs> everything that you love and hate about it. Uh, it's very complex, it is more robust than it needs to be. I actually don't know how to use the thing, um, but I know that you can get to the map just like that. And to get out of the Audi R8, you do have the handle right here, right next to the lock and unlock. Just lift it up, push with your elbow, make sure you don't hit the car next to you, and you can get on out. And actually, since we're here, let's go ahead and put it in auxiliary. Just click it over one time, just like that. Put your foot on the brake, 
and then back here, lift up, opens up the back bonnet. Going around the back end, you can see it already popped up for us here. Uh, there is no latch on it. You can just pull it straight up. It is a little heavy, even though you have that dual hydraulic system. Look at this sweet carbon fiber that just wraps the engine bay. Absolutely phenomenal. Very, very beautiful. And then there it is, the V10 motor. And what's interesting about this is if you take a look, it's offset to the left just a little bit, uh, just like the Lamborghinis that we filmed in the past. And since we're back here, let's take a look at a couple things. Uh, of course, you have spots to put your fluids. You do have the K&N air filters. And then a couple stickers right here on the left-hand side. And the right-hand side as well. Can't forget the ones on the lid. And finally, to shut the back bonnet, you can just pull down right here in the center since it is dual hydraulic. So it's just like this. Palm your hand right down the front. Sits flush again, super beautiful. Going into the front trunk, again, you hit the little switch right here. Unlatches just like that. Uh, something I didn't know, it does have the clamshell hood style, so it does wrap over the front fenders. Uh, right here is the latch, just pull it forward, push up, and it has to be one of the easiest one in the business, just like that. Dual hydraulic system, uh, it is super light, even though it is the larger hood. And then down here, you do have your front trunk. Uh, not super large, I believe it's about 3.7, 3.9 cubic feet. And then the emergency release switch right here. Uh, if anyone or anything is stuck in the trunk, this does glow in the dark. You can pull this out and it unlatches the front right here. And if you take a step back, I mean, it is a big hood for sure. Let's go ahead and pull it down right here on the center. Just like that. And then flush down again. It keeps the lines very straight, very beautiful. This overall car is, is amazing. Is a little scary because it's not my car and it's not a rental but here we go god I love this car so I'm gonna take it uh, up through one tunnel that I know of uh, and then I'm gonna turn around take it right back should be a quick drive, but should be a lot of fun. Let's take it first bit. <laughs> oh, Zach, thank you so much for letting me borrow the car. I promise I'll take care of it 100%. So this car, out of all the exotic cars, sports cars that I've driven so far, this one is probably one of the most comfortable with the seats, with the reach, um, with the foot pedals, everything. It feels super comfortable to drive. Of course, I have the gated shifter. This thing is absolutely amazing. It makes you want to drive this car even more. Uh, it, it's just so fun to go into gear. I do feel like, and this is just like the Lamborghini when we drove that, the Gallardo. Um, when I'm sitting in the seat, the seat is as far down as it goes, and I'm looking kind of at the top of my windshield. So if I'm the first one in line to uh, go through a stoplight, I kind of have to duck my head just like this <laughs> to be able to see, you know, if it's green or red or if I can go. When I do these videos in Seattle, <laughs> it really makes me wish that the gumball rally was happening right now, you know, so I could just kind of act like I was part of the crew and then get back out real quick. And what you guys are hearing 
when I shift, it, it doesn't hurt the car, it doesn't hurt the transmission, it's just the gated shifter itself, the nature of it, and going into gear. It's so solid, and it's so, it just feels so comfortable. Going on the on-ramp, but we have someone in front of us, so we won't go super crazy. Well, that was the 2011 Audi R8, and this one is an absolute beast. Uh, I have to thank Pista Film Solutions for letting me come down here and film. Uh, big thanks to Zach, who's the owner of this vehicle. Feel free to follow him at ZCraftWagon LLC. But right now, I'm headed home to get this footage uploaded for you guys. Back now, guys, and what an awesome car. You know, a lot of exotic car owners will reserve driving their car for special occasions or weekends to try and keep the miles low and the value as high as possible. But in my opinion, if you're not planning on selling anytime soon, drive it and make those memories. You forgot something at the store? Take the Ferrari. You're headed to work? Take the McLaren. You want to get a cup of coffee? Take the R8. And that's what this owner does. Don't forget. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button below and help Sophie and I on our way to 1,000 subscribers and the chance to give back to the Seattle Humane Society. We'll see you guys on the next one. Funny thing is, you guys don't know what I'm wearing down here. Could be nothing, could be pants, could be a romper, a dude romper, those a thing. <laughs>